Hi there! Welcome to my first hands-on tutorial. Today I will create a skeleton for an application using MVC pattern and PDD. Uh, I will also be using Maven, so let's create a new Maven project. Like that. Uh, we want to use the quick start archetype. And we want to use the Maven one, not the widget one. Let's call this um, PDD uh, tutorial. Okay. Oh, uh, it's using old Java. I want to use the new one. So uh, we need to modify the form. Let me see. Um, all right there. Um, I'll just copy the, what we need from, from my notes. I want to set the Maven compiler plugin configuration so that it uses um, Java 1.6, like that. Okay, uh, now we have to run configuration update. Okay. So um, I I want to uh, check what the new J unit version is. I I want to use that one. So I'm searching it from this Maven repository, and it's uh, four dot ten. Okay. Like that. And you can see the, the jars are now there, and we can see that it has a dependency to Hamcrest. Let's also get Mokito. This uh, Maven repository is really handy, because whenever you need some some stuff, you can just get, get the dependency here, and uh, look it to your POM, and the jars, and dependence stuff is it's, uh, downloaded automatically to you. I want to use the test scope. I don't really want to accidentally use this from the production code for testing only. Okay, the dependencies are there. So uh, what did Maven create for us? Uh, we get the application class. And a test class, but this is uh, old J unit. I don't want that. So let's create a new J unit test case with J unit four. Yeah, that's fine. So let's uh, start our application. So what we are testing here is the start application method. So um, I'm just going to create that one. Like that. Uh, this is not a hello world anymore. Uh, the test is in the wrong package. Let's move it. So we have this main package and test package there. So we want to create the controller first. I'm going to mock it. Okay, that's a uh, Mokito syntax for creating a new mock, and this mock is um, it's, it's not a real class, so it's kind of a test version of, of, of this main controller, 
and it does not have any any methods that it would return to. If you ask something from it, it just returns null unless you define something. So, um, but it's really useful for, for testing. So let's create the main controller. It can go um, to the same package and the application is like that. And now we add it to the actual method. So when we are using this mockito, it does not automatically verify that, that no methods are called from the mock. So we need to um, call verify no more interaction ourselves. But otherwise it's really handy. So I really like mockito. So what do we want this start application to do? Um, we want it to call the main controller mm, and we want uh, that it sets the view to the main controller and the view should be of class um, main view this is a um, it's a mockito matcher so let's create our main view um, main side and we want to create a new package for it as we will be testing we will be doing um, protected methods and we don't want want that uh, everybody can access them so I need to be careful with the packages We also want the main controller to take the control. So, so we have now two methods there, so we are ready to create the test case so we don't forget to implement those. Okay. But we are still here. Um, Okay, so this tests start application, and um, no interactions with the mock. So let's create some interactions. And we need a view to set it, so let's create it. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we are missing to take control. Like that. Let's run again. Ta da! Okay, this one is ready. So, um, I'm just going to. Uh, Use the same code that we had in in the test to to create this application for real. And I'm not going to create a test for this one. It's well, it could be tested with Power Mockito or Power Mock, but if this code is missing, the application doesn't really work, and someone is going to notice that. Now well, we had some tests. Let's create. Um, oh, I have some old ones there. I have done this like four times already. <laughs> okay, let's run all JUnit tests for this project. So we had something to implement still. I'm going to create a setup here. It will be run before all the test cases in this class. And I I want to create create the, the class on the test here. So I don't have to create it every time when I um, when I implement the test cases. Okay. Oh, 
I'm going to mock the main ear here. So what do I want to happen in set view? Um, I just want to set the view so I can just get the view and check that it's the same view that, that I set previously. Assert tab. This assert tab is, is a new new thing that um, has a nicer syntax than the old old one, so I'm using that. We are asserting that the main view is the view um, expected is null. No, uh, I have them in wrong order now. Oh, now it should look nicer. Okay, better. Then the take control. I want to set the view because I, I know this take control is is using the view, but I'm using mock there so I can detect what it does to the view. So again we need to remember to verify that there are no extra interactions. And we want um, that the main controller um, shows the view. So what we do when we uh, start this application, we want to show the view as soon as possible, so the user don't have to wait until we do some other stuff. Okay, not invoked. Okay. Now we can um, work on, on this main view for a while. The main view should, um, it should always have a reference to controller. So um, I'm just going to create a test to make sure that, that it really does. Ah. So I'm going to make it fail first, so that I, I don't kind of forget it when it's half done. So I want to create a new constructor with uh, controller. Like that. Okay, now we have it. But we, we want to test it with null. And uh, we want this to fail first. So I'm just going to put a uh, try catch block. Well, we want to throw an illegal argument exception. I, I would uh, throw a null pointer, but then the other programmers might uh, mix it up with, with Java's own null pointer, so I'm using illegal argument exception instead. Oh, I'm having some 
problems. Yeah, yeah, I have the new, um, new constructor. Well, I rather call this controller 